What's up guys? So quick update on the K5. Um, finally got it back from my buddy Josh over at Arm Brewster Industries. He made me these custom seat brackets for the new seats. And I think it turned out killer. The seats I'm so happy with. Um, so ordered these from PRP. Um, they are the Daily Driver series. So it's kind of a mix between a regular seat and a race seat. It still really holds you in. I mean, it's they're deep over here, but they're not as hard to get in and out of as a normal race seat. Um, I also ordered uh, the extra wide ones. So these are, I believe, 24 inches wide as opposed to 22. They're like two inches wider than the normal ones, which is a lot more comfortable because that's the one thing I don't like about any kind of a race seat. I mean, I understand why it's supposed to be tight, but if you're not in a race, uh, you don't really need that. So anyways, yeah, my buddy Josh killed the brackets. Um, super happy with it. Um, I did not order sliders, but he went ahead and made it to where there's three adjustment holes. So I can move it forward an inch or back an inch. And I believe I'm gonna move it to the forward position. I'm gonna do that today because my the brake is fine, the brake pedal is fine, but the gas pedal is a little bit far away. I'm hoping that inch will take care of it. I think it will, but I'm super happy. Um, so yeah, he built those brackets last week, um, designed them and built them for me. And then at the same time, I had him add this little bull bar slash stinger to the front bumper just to protect my light bar. Um, I'm gonna pull the truck out and I'll get some better footage of this and I'll put that right here. But yeah, super happy with that as well. Um, I was going to get the cage installed at the same time as the seats, but I kinda wussed out on that because it's going to cost me around three grand 3500 for him to fab up a cage so i kind of put that on the back burner for now so next thing i need to do now that i got the truck back pull this dash pad off and replace it and then i'm gonna i think i already told you guys i'm gonna paint the bottom part of the the dash uh the green to match and then the kick panels over there, I finally found him thanks to a subscriber. I'm sorry, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but I'll try to put it on here for you guys. Found these on LMC, so I got all new kick panels, so they're black, so they'll match. Um, and then the interior's done. So, we're getting closer, a lot closer, but I'm super happy with how the seats turned out. Um, so I got the suede middle, suede sides, and then this part is what they call carbon fiber right here, right here, this one. And then just back here, it's just black leather. So, but I'm totally digging these. So happy. And they're comfortable, I'm telling you. I thought, and I was kind of scared, you know, you spend, you know, almost $1,000 on some seats and you've never even sat in them. It's kind of scary, but I was really happy when I got in there. They're comfortable. I don't know if I'm going to be able to drive cross country in them, but for getting around town and going wheeling they're gonna you're gonna you know they're gonna do the job for sure anyways um i guess that's about it for today um yeah i hope, hope everybody has a good mother's day don't forget to call your mom um and i will talk to you guys soon hopefully have um an update on the dash and stuff here within the next few weeks because i think next weekend we're tearing that thing down so Anyways, we'll keep in touch. You guys have a good one. Thanks.